Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Brooke Ashley. And today we are here to discuss The Real Housewives of Orange County, season 16, episode seven. I know I am late with this recap. Y'all, I have been on a roll with these hot topic stories, but we are here. And this was a great episode of OC. So with all that being said, let's just hop right on into it because we don't have a minute to spare. We start the episode off with Dr. Jen, Emily, and Nicole shopping for bathing suits. Remember how in the last episode, Heather invited everybody except for Noella to Cabo. So they're super excited. They're trying on swimsuits. Emily's joking around about how tiny Dr. Jen and Nicole are. She's like, y'all are the size of my daughter. Now, mind you, her daughter is like seven or eight. So child, Nicole brings up Noella and how her and Noella are no longer friends. She's like, I just can't do this anymore. She accused me of being a bad friend. And it's like, she always seems to have an issue. Then Nicole brings up how Noella talks about everybody in the group. So Emily says in her confessional that she thinks that Nicole's being petty and shady and she feels that Nicole is trying to sway everybody's opinion of Noella. I'm like, you can tell when somebody's trying to get everybody against one person and you can also tell when somebody's trying to warn you like, hey, you might want to slow down because this person is not who they claim to be. You can look at Noella and see that she's very phony. There's just something off about her. And I don't know why Emily and Gina seem to have some blinders up when it comes to Noella. Then Nicole says that if Noella comes on this trip, then she's not going to go. She's like, I want her far away from me. Like me and her don't mix. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to see her. So she better not be coming. And I get where Nicole's coming from because I don't ever want to be on a vacation with somebody who I can't stand. But on the flip side, it's a big group of you guys going on this trip. So you can easily avoid Noella. I'm very good at ignoring people. So I wouldn't be paying Noella any mind if she were in the same space as me. We move on to the next scene and we see that Gina's over at Heather's house and they're discussing the trip. Heather's like, I'm just so excited for this girl's trip. It's been a while since we've been on a vacation. And she's like, by the way, I've rented a fabulous house along with chartering a private jet. Now, you know, Gina doesn't have two nickels to rub together. So she is just chomping at the bit. She's like, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much, Heather. I'm just so excited. I said, again, how did Gina get on this show? Like, I will pay somebody money if somebody can just tell me what did the producer see in Miss Gina? Because baby, she is not it. I've been saying this about several of the franchises, but baby, these past few years have been a bit rough because Bravo has been letting a lot of these basic women slide through and I'm not understanding. So after Heather tells Gina the good news about the private jet and the fabulous house, Gina brings up Noella and Heather's like, okay, girl, like what about Noella? And now Gina goes on to ask, if Heather could find it in her heart to invite Noella on this trip. My answer to Gina would have been hell no. And if you ask me this again, I'm going to be kicking you off this trip because don't ask me to invite somebody who has a problem with me. No. Mm -mm. I'll be damned if I'm giving an enemy five star treatment. Absolutely not. Noella would be sitting home with her dog and production while we're away for the next four days having the time of our lives. So Gina's going on and on trying to plead a case for Noella. She's like, you know, I was texting her the other night and I felt so bad for her because she's going to be lonely while we're all away. And she's going through such a hard time with this divorce and her husband leaving her and her not having a dime to her name. Like, can you please just invite her on the trip? So Heather says, look, before I answer your question, let me just say this. I don't dislike Noella. But every time I see her, it's always something. Then Heather brings up the gift that Noella gave to her daughter, Max. 
So Heather's like, look, I'm happy that my daughter and Noella bonded over them both being bisexual. That's great. I love it. However, the gift that she bought my 17-year-old daughter was not appropriate. We find out that Noella bought Max this really sexy and explicit card game. So Heather's reading off the questions, and I was like, did Noella read the back of the cards? Because this is not a gift that you give to a 17-year-old. I mean, yeah, she's about to be legal in a year, but when it comes to gifting somebody else's child a gift like that, you need to tread lightly. And these weren't PG or PG-13 card questions. These were hardcore questions that adults would play and answer, okay? And it's like, would you like getting your this licked and that ate and uh-huh? It was one of those games. So Heather's like, that's cool for adults, but not for a 17-year-old. I was thinking, here goes Noella again, being extra, because why couldn't you just get this girl a gift card? So Heather says, look, the card game is inappropriate. Me and Noella seem to be having a rocky start, but I don't want to exclude anybody and she's welcome to come. But you give her that message because I'm not calling her up. Now, Heather's a lot nicer than me because I wouldn't have caved in. If we're not friends, if you've been saying some nasty things behind my back, there's no way that I'm going to now extend the invitation for a fabulous vacation on my dime. It's not happening. Let me explain something real quick to you about my personality. When I tell you when I am hot, I am hot. And when I am cold, it's ice, okay? Like, I am very good to people who are sweet to me and kind to me. If you love me, I love you. But baby... If me and you have any type of beef or tension, and you're gonna always get it again and again and again. I am very much a grudge holder, and I'm not proud of it, I'm just being honest, but Noella would have been iced out, and I would not have been talked into inviting her on my trip. She would have been home, and production would not have told me a damn thing. So now we flip to the next scene and everybody is on the private jet. Gina is super excited. It's her first time on a private jet, honey. She has a smile on her face from here to here. And we already know that she is never going to let her friendship with Heather go. They're having a good time on the jet. The champagne is flowing as it should. We drink a strawberry and champagne. Hold on, let me get a strawberry. Let me get a strawberry. <laughs> And we see that Nicole isn't there. She decided not to come and Noella is late. She's going to be meeting them later. So now they arrive in Cabo. They arrive at the house. They're being shown around. The house is gorgeous. I think it had like seven bedrooms. Everybody has a fabulous room. We see that Gina and Emily are sharing a room together. It gave very much... Sonia and Ramona vibes from New York. If you guys watch the New York franchise, then you know that those two always share a room every time they're on a vacation. Everybody's getting settled and we see Dr. Jen FaceTiming her husband. So she's asking him about the kids and you can already tell that there's some tension between them. Her husband seems like he's very uninterested in what she has to say what she has going on. I also get the impression that he's just not that into her. Now we see Heather talking to Emily and Gina and she's showing them the floor plans for her and Terry's vacation home that they're building in Cabo right now. She says that she had this dream the other night that her daughter said, mom would have loved this. And she's like, that just had me so emotional and it made me realize that I want my kids to always know that they have each other and I want them to have places to go to after me and Terry aren't here anymore. So she's getting emotional. And then she tells Emily and Gina that the itinerary is up in the air for today. It's whatever they want to do. If they want to just chill out by the pool, that's cool. But she also has horseback riding set up for them if they want to do that. 
So we see Emily, Shannon, and Gina go horseback riding. And Emily looked like a pro out there. Like she was really riding. I was like, okay, sis. So now we see all the ladies getting glammed up and they are on their way to dinner. Now, while they're in the car to dinner, Noella has finally arrived to Cabo. She gets to the house. And did you guys catch her trying to be shady? I don't know if she was trying to say that the house wasn't nice, but I was like, girl, you are in no position to make any snide remarks about anybody's vacation home. I said, how dare you? You can't even afford a stick of gum, but yet you want to be shady about Heather inviting you on a free vacation that you can't even afford to go on. Like, baby, if we're being real, you can't even afford to go down the street. So keep it real cute. And when she was like, you know, I'm just gonna be really nice because I was invited, like, you know, that's the proper thing to do. I said, again, you should have nothing to say about anything. Just be happy that you're there. All that needs to come out of your mouth is thank you. But anyhow, we see the other ladies arrive at the restaurant. So they're seated, ordering some steaks and some oysters, my favorite. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys know my mouth was watering. So then they're ordering some drinks and baby Miss Noella arrives and she's like, hey guys, how are you? Like I'm here. And Heather was doing her best to pull her face together and be a gracious hostess. But you could see that she was visibly annoyed that Noella was there. She could already tell what type of time Noella was on. So Heather's asking Noella, like, girl, what happened? Like, why did you get to Cabo so late? So now Noella's joking that she left her passport book at home. And they're all like, what? Like, how did you do that? Noella goes on to say that it's been so long since she's flown commercial because back when she was with her husband, James, they always flew private. So having her passport with her just slipped her mind. I said, girl, I said, if you don't stop it, then she goes on and on about how this is her first time traveling without her private plane. I said, again, always trying to make the conversation about her. It's not about you right now, sis. So now Heather's like, okay, guys, let's do some tequila shots. And she's telling them that she drinks her shots a certain way with like a dash of cinnamon and some ginger. So they're like, okay, cool. Sounds good. So they all take the shots. And of course, Noella doesn't take her shot because this tequila is too warm and she needs some ice. So Heather's rolling her eyes like, really, girl? I could see if it was bad champagne or something, but this is tequila. Like, just drink it. It's not going to kill you. They finish taking the shot, and now Noella is like, Shannon, I just want to say thank you so much for checking up on me, and I love when you call me. It's, like, really sweet and really comforting. Again, why are you bringing this up at this group dinner? You just got here. The hostess doesn't care too much for you. Just sit there, take your shot, eat your food, and stop trying to make the conversation all about you. So now Noella goes on and on and on about herself. Everybody at the table is uncomfortable. Dr. Jen says it's like Noella can't read the room because it's not the Noella show. That is a pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand folks who are self-centered. I am all about giving people their moments. At the end of the day, the focus needs to be on the group or Heather. Heather is the one who put this trip together. Heather is the one who organized everything, okay? She's shelling out the money. She chartered the private plane. If anybody is going to get all the attention, it needs to be the hostess of the trip, period. How dare you come to the dinner late and now you want to make it all about you? You are not the only person going through something. And Noella has a very immature quality about her. You cannot dominate the conversation and make it all about you and your problems every single time. It's rude. I've said it time and time again, my misery does not like company. If my emotions are out of whack, 
I will refrain from being in group settings until I can get myself together. And before the Noella fans say I'm being too hard, no, I'm not. And second of all, this is my opinion, okay? <laughs> and we're not always gonna agree on everything, but it's very off-putting to see Noella always turn the conversation back to her. So now Noella brings up Nicole and how Nicole's been shady and talking about everybody. So now Emily says, well, now that you mention it, Nicole did tell me a few days ago that you said that I was just a mom who took my kids to get frozen yogurt all day and then go to Costco. Like, I don't do anything else. So now Noella says, oh my gosh, you know what? I'm so sorry. I was being shady. I did say that. So now Emily says, and by the way, Nicole also told me that you were talking about Gina and how you were calling her boyfriend a bum and a loser and now he's broke with no job and living off of Gina. Gina is visibly hurt, but she's trying to brush it off. Then we see Noella in her confessional say that she had heard some things about Gina's house from Bronwyn and that's why she said it. It's just really funny that Noella was doing all this shading. Meanwhile, her finances are a wreck. Gina probably has $5 more than Noella has. So Noella says in her confessional that Nicole had marching orders from Heather to discredit Noella. No, sis, you were talking behind people's backs and Nicole told, and now you're sitting up there looking dumb because you've been confronted about what you said. Don't blame Nicole and don't blame Heather for things that you said. So now the food gets to the table and Noella had ordered a steak. And so she's like, I can't eat right now. I just can't eat. Like, I just can't eat. I'm just not hungry right now. Like, I can barely eat. And Heather is like, oh my gosh, if this girl does not shut up. Even Emily and Gina are annoyed. Gina's like, girl, if you're not going to eat, then just keep that to yourself. Like, be low key about it. So now Noella gets up because she's just having a moment. And then Emily and Gina follow after her. Heather is rolling her eyes. She's visibly annoyed. Shannon is confused, like, what is going on? And then we see Emily and Gina talking to Noella, and they're like, look, you sort of offended Heather when you didn't eat your food. So now Noella's like, Heather's always mad at me about something. Like, she has to get that stick out of her ass. It's like, no, she just wants you to stop being so annoying and so self-centered. Noella says that she does not care what Heather Dubrow thinks of her. And then she says that Emily and Gina are not acting like the women that she met in OC. She's like, they've obviously been drinking the Heather Dubrow Kool-Aid. It's like, it's not about that. They just want you to be normal and just have a good time. That's all anybody wants. Nobody has the patience or the capacity to be babysitting you at every single turn because you're feeling some sort of way. That's exhausting. And now we see Heather at the table and she's like, this is exactly why I did not want to invite her on this trip because I just wanted us to have a good time and every time Noella is in the mix is always an issue. So child, we see a to be continued flash on our screens and it seems like the next episode is going to be some mess. Along with the rest of the season because that mid-season trailer looks like Noella is going to be in more mess the entire rest of the season. But y'all, that was the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my recap. And as always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye.